chips were down, you came through, Whitney. You rose above. I told you, Julian. I didn't do any of this for you. Nevertheless, I am eternally grateful. I misjudged you. You're a stand-up oh. girl. When we get back to Harmony, I'll write you a nice big check. Oh, please. I do not want your money. I think that you are a complete pig, Julian. And don't think I don't know that when you were in Teresa's room, that you were trying to take advantage of her while she was out of it. Oh, not The true. only reason I told Ethan that I was in the room when you came in was so that he wouldn't kill you and end up going to jail. Well, Listen to me. I do want you to do something for me, Julian. You should know better than to threaten me, Whitney. You know, it's not a threat, Julian. Actually, it's a fact. You realize I do own this hotel. But you know what? I don't care what you own. I could have you and your boyfriend arrested just like that. Mm. But seeing as you're a friend of my wife's, I'll ignore your little threat and ask what I may do for you. For starters, you can stop calling Teresa your wife and get the marriage annulled like you promised. I already told you. I'm working on it. <clears throat> well, don't work on it, Julian. Just do it. It will be done. But you must remind Teresa that mom is the word when it comes to a marriage. She's to keep it a secret. <laughs> you really think Teresa would want to go around telling everyone that she's married to you? Well, since she's still groggy, she could blurt out anything, and we wouldn't want that, would we? Well, then the sooner you get this marriage annulled, the less likely she is to say anything to anybody. Just tell her to keep quiet. Deal? Deal. Uh. Huh. <sighs> Winnie. Chad, how you doing? Look, I know you don't think I should be in on what's going down, but I'm worried about you. Why? Seeing you shaking hands and being palsy with Julian Crane mm -hmm. just makes me uh, a little nervous. You mind telling me what's going on? Well, don't you want to tell me what's going on? Chad, huh? I, I can't. You're just going to have to trust me on this. If I told you what Julian and I were talking about, you would feel obligated to tell Ethan. And that would cause a problem. A very, very big problem. All hell would definitely break loose. That's why Ethan can just, he can never know. And I know Teresa's smart enough not to tell him either. It was more like a, a nightmare than a, a dream. You know, I, I guess I can blame it on the drug that the doctor gave me, but it seemed real, Ethan. This is crazy, I guess. Well, what was it about? Okay. Well, I was actually... Teresa! Hey! Come on, girl. Let's hurry up and get dressed. Everybody's meeting downstairs to welcome Sheridan back. Oh, I, I was just about to tell Ethan about this crazy dream I had. I mean, wait, let me tell you, you would not <laughs> believe it. it oh, was... honey, honey, it's okay. You can tell him later. I mean, we don't want to miss out on being there for Sheridan at all. Ethan, would you mind actually going out there in the hallway with Chad and give us a little girl time? <laughs> yeah, sure. Thank you, Ethan. Thanks. Bye. Teresa, it wasn't a crazy dream you had. What are you talking about? You and Julian. How did you know that Julian was in my dream? Teresa, honey, listen to me. It wasn't a dream. You did sleep with Julian. And not only did you sleep with him, but you... 
married him in a 24-hour chapel. No, I, no. Yes, yes, honey, you told me yourself yesterday morning. You admitted it to me. Julian admitted it. The Justice of the Peace admitted it, honey. Oh, my God. It was a dream. Oh, it really happened when he... That, that's what I've been trying to tell you, honey. That's why you can't tell Ethan. Listen to me, if you tell Ethan, he's gonna tell Louise, and they're gonna kill Julian, and they're both gonna be in jail forever. Whitney, what am I going to, to do? Teresa, you're gonna shut up about it. That's exactly what you're gonna do. You're just gonna shut up and let Julian get the annulment. And just pray that no one ever, ever finds out about this. If Ethan finds out what I did, you know, before the annulment, before Ethan and I get married. You won't have a marriage, Teresa. You'll have absolutely nothing. He's gonna hate me for the rest of my life. God, what have I done, Whitney? What have I done? Come on, come on. It's okay. 